What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the last week. This is Holiday Edition. I'm traveling, but thought I'd shoot a quick version of the news, get it uploaded for you. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button, and let's jump into this week's topics. First off for this week, we've got a new release coming from MST, and this is the CFXW S. This is a straight axle version of the previous CFXW. This new release is going to have a straight axle version of their axle that it looks restyled completely. Nothing really all that similar to their previous axles that they've released. This is also going to come paired with the new DC1 body that we saw them tease a month or so back. That's that Land Rover base. Now this beyond the new axles doesn't look to be that much different than the previous CFXW. It still has the forward motor that's mounted fairly high. It looks like the servo is going to be continued to be mounted on the axle. It does have metal gears in the axles as they did previously also. Divorce transfer case, rear mounted battery. This is coming with a new set of tires. They kind of look like a Cooper Discoverer uh, STT. So a decent looking set of tires. The ones that came on there before were like a Nitto Mud Grappler style. So, so again, going with a tire that's a replica unlicensed version of a full size tire. No day has been posted yet as far as when this will be available, but we'll keep an eye out for it and see when we get actual photos. Next, I ran across this new release, and this is actually a pre-order for the Grand Prix 3D. This is a very retro style, and this is a fully functioning RC vehicle, but it is mainly 3D printed. The style of this in general, though, looks awesome. If you go to the website and check the pre-order, you can see that there's currently a $50 discount if you pre-order, but the actual price for this is $715. A pretty steep price for a mainly 3D printed car, no matter how cool it is. And especially the fact that I don't know what the status for placement parts are going to be. You're going to have to buy 3D printed parts from overseas and bring them in when or if this thing breaks, if you decide to actually drive it. It's a super cool concept. It would be awesome if this was an actual production car made with proper materials and not 3D printed, but it's pretty tough to swallow it. Over $700 for this vehicle. The electric motor sits inside of the 3D printed replica engine that's in the back. The rear transmission is the actual differential and everything for this vehicle. It's a two wheel drive car. It's got you know realistic suspension for this period. I would love to see this be a viable vehicle to buy, but at this point, I think it's just the cool factor for what it is. I think the best thing we could possibly even hope for is this becomes a little bit more open source and you can 3D print your own version because I don't see this being all that popular unless they go to a more mass produced model. Next, for those of you looking to do some holiday shopping, the Gatekeeper RTRs are hitting shelves now. And if you look around and see the scarcity of RC models and kits and things like that right now, if you're thinking about either picking one of these up for yourself or for a gift for somebody, you might want to do it sooner than later. RTR models, kits, everything, they're going fast and it's hard to say if they're going to be restocked before Christmas. So if you're thinking about jumping in on this, you might want to jump in on these ASAP. Axial released a new set of rock lights specifically made for the Axial SCX 10 threes. These are an RGB set of rock lights finally RGB and RC. You know, we've seen some RGB items, but it's it hasn't been as prevalent yet as I feel like it could have been. But Axial released this Rocklight set. It's going to mount into those pre-molded positions on the fenders of all of the SCX-10 III platforms. And then on the actual pigtail for the wiring, it's got a button. Looks like you can press that button and toggle through multiple different colors in this string. So you buy one part and then you can select the color that you want. I kind of like that. I ended up putting some amber style rock lights on my Jeep SCX-10 III. It would have been nice to be able to toggle them to the amber and then you know, maybe actually just turn them to white later on down the road. But instead I'm stuck with a single color. Either way, I like this trend. I think that this is gonna be something that we see more often. RGB lights are readily available, nice and bright, super powerful, and give you a ton of customizing options. So nice to see this. Only 30 bucks for this kit as well. Plugs into receiver power. Easy to install for just about everyone. But then, Hey OK released something that kind of one-ups this Axial release. Hey OK released their own Rocklight set, also RGB. 
but controllable from your radio. You can either do it from a two position switch to either turn it off and then back to whatever color you preset by adjusting the endpoint, or you could put it on a three position switch to have off and then two colors or ultimately, if you have a dial on your radio, anywhere from off to the full color spectrum, including white. So I like this one. Uh, this one even more adjustable, something I feel could really easily be integrated into a ton of people's setups. So if you've got a spare channel, you like RGB, and you're looking to put rock lights on your vehicle, check out this Hey OK system. I will be linking to the Hey OK as well as all of the rest of today's stories in the description below. Make sure you check out those links. Next, today I saw that WPL released the C54 Land Cruiser body set. Now, WPL, pretty inexpensive brand, but they've released this body set. It's just the body set. You actually have to put it onto one of their other vehicles. They've got a bunch of inexpensive plastic-based models. They're 30 bucks roughly. If you're, you're a big Land Cruiser fan, you want to just have another model to put this on, you probably have this whole thing for about 60 bucks with buying a separate vehicle for it. But new release, if you're a Land Cruiser fan, check it out. A link to their site as well in the description below. Then today also, RC Football Drive released a new version of the TF2. It's a different color mainly is all, but it's a pre-painted black dial. They're calling it the Midnight Edition. Black painted body, black details, gunmetal wheels, which actually look pretty good, and Super Swamper uh, narrow tires. Overall, pretty good looking setup. It's the ready to run version, so everything's complete. You can just drop this thing out of the box and run. Now, everything else looks basically identical for the TF2. It's a single speed transmission since it is the ready to run. It comes with the standard r drive electronics. They'll get you by until you want to decide to put something better in there. This is listed as coming soon. So watch out for this when it's the actual release day or possibly it's being opened for pre-order. Next, we have three quick stories for you drag racing fans. Amy just got a bunch of new parts in from Exotech and Drag Race Concepts for you DR10 owners, including carbon fiber extended body mount, aluminum motor plates, idler gears, hexes, and some wheelie bar and other carbon fiber parts as well. Check those out. I've linked to those in the description below. And then we also had some new drag racing motors pop up from Speed Zone. I'm not really sure of this company. I don't have any background on them. I just saw it being posted around in a few different places. They've come out with a line of drag racing specific motors, they say, anywhere from 1.5 turn to 13.5 turn. So from, I've never, I've never seen a 1.5 turn, but this, that's not the world I live in. So maybe they exist elsewhere, but 1.5 to 13.5. If you're looking for a new motor for your DR10 or Slash or whatever else you're racing, check them out. Prices for these drag race motors are $110. Again, I have no idea about this company or how popular they are or aren't. So check them out, maybe find some reviews on your own. Next, I ran across this story, and this is a HackFab drag race chassis for the Mini T 2.0 kind of interesting this won't fit into the standard no prep classes but this takes a low c mini t 2.0 and converts it into a little drag car made to fit between 210 and 235 millimeters which there's a ton of body options for specifically noted are the m chassis bodies so ton of options if you're looking to turn that chassis into something different this looks like a cool option and the price is not bad at under 70 bucks Check the link in the description below for more info on that. Last week, Matt and I released the first video in the RCPC series. In this series, we partnered up with both Tamiya and EVGA. Tamiya supplied 114th tractor and trailer, so we're able to build up one of those massive combinations. And then EVGA gave us all of the computer equipment to jam into those to try and transform them into powerful gaming PCs. If you've got an interest in scale 114 semis or custom gaming computers, check out the series. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Looking forward to that project, especially as we get further and further into the custom fabrication of how we're jamming those PCs into those trailers. Live streams for the rest of the week. Wednesday may be a little dodgy. Definitely check Matt's channel. Wednesday live takeover should definitely be on his. Possibly on mine still too, not 100% sure. But Friday, we'll be back to regularly scheduled Friday Night Live. We'll be back home and ready to go with another project for that. 
But that is going to do it for the news topics for this week. For this week's question, did you score any deals on Black Friday? Did you buy anything for yourself? Did you buy anything for others, RC or non-RC related? Interested to hear what you're spending your money on. But that is going to do it for the news for this week. Hit the like button if you enjoy the news update. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks for joining us. Hope you have an awesome rest of the week and we'll see you on the next one.